be unsafe if anybody's lifted above them. We don't want any mishaps or extra feedings going on that we don't know about. But everybody looks good, so with that out of the way, we can go ahead and start giving these guys some breakfast. Now, folks, you are looking at our wildlife area here at Alligator Adventure. This area houses 700 North American alligators. Now, there in front of our park, we've got another area that we call the main pool area, and that houses about 300 adults. You guys can do the math. We have over 1,000 alligators here at our park. It's a lot of mouths to feed. Now, one of the most common questions we get here from visitors is how can we tell the difference between the males and the females? Now, it's really easy to tell when alligators are fully grown because all you have to do is look at their size. All the smaller ones are the females. Oh. They get anywhere from about six to nine feet in length. Now the here. males get a lot larger. The adult males can get all the way up to about 15 feet long and they can weigh in at over 1,000 pounds. Now usually folks who come to the feedings get very concerned if these alligators are getting enough to eat. You heard we have 700 gators in this section of our park alone. And you see only two keepers out here with one bucket of chicken each. It's obvious not every gator is going to get a piece of food during this show. That's perfectly all right. They're not too worried about it because they don't eat that much. In the wild, one adult gator will only eat about 75 pounds of meat. And that will last for the entire year. Now that's not a whole lot considering how large they get. They can afford to do that because they're very efficient animals. These guys use 90% of the food that they take in. And they spill only 10% of that as waste. Now people on the other hand were the exact opposite. We waste about 90%. So that's why we need to eat every single day, a couple times a day, to keep our body systems running the way they should. Well, that's good. Yeah. As you're walking around our park, you may notice that some of our alligators are missing body parts. How many of you guys notice that? Yeah. Yeah, some of them are missing some arms, legs, fingers, toes. Maybe they have a chunk out of their tail. And that's not from the big males like you may think. That's mainly from the females during nesting season. So that happens in the month of July. Females will get very territorial over their nesting sites. And anything that walks through usually gets into a fight with an angry mama gator. And that's where all the bumps and bruises and bites come from. All right, guys, I'm down to my very last piece of chicken. How many do you have, Brian? He's got three pieces left. Let's see if we can get one more big one to jump for us. All right, that was my very last piece. When Brian down there is finished, that will be our show. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out to the alligator feeding. Let's go ahead and give Brian, our extra feeder, a big round of applause for helping me out. Now, if you have any questions for us, Brian and I will be exiting out the albino alligator house, so we invite you to come on over and chat with us.